Hello, welcome back. We want to start by talking about peripheral neuropathy. How many of you are suffering from peripheral neuropathy? I bet many of you, if you're watching this right now, know somebody or yourself are suffering from some form of neuropathy. Maybe it's getting worse over time. Maybe it just started. We have to look at the true cause and find out why you have it before we can even do anything about it. So let's get started. What is peripheral neuropathy? Peripheral neuropathy is a problem. The nerves that carry information, our nervous system, it starts in our brain, down through our spine, down through our limbs. Something goes wrong along this pathway. This can produce pain, loss of sensation, loss of movement, loss of coordination, the inability to control muscles. These are all signs of peripheral neuropathy. The definition of peripheral neuropathy, peripheral means further out from the center of the body, so hands, feet, but it can be anywhere, distant from the brain and spinal cord. Neuro means nerves, pathy means abnormal. Seven signs of peripheral neuropathy are numbness in the hands and feet, burning the hands and feet, cramping in the muscles of the hands and feet, sharp electrical pains that shoot down maybe into your hands and feet. Other signs are pain when walking. How many of you have pain with walking? We've had patients come in our office that can't even walk on their carpet with bare feet. Is that you? Difficulty sleeping, waking up in the middle of the night because your legs are killing you. How about three in the morning? You can't sleep anymore because of the pain. You have prickling sensation. Maybe you're walking a wet cardboard. People tell me that one all the time. Maybe only part of your hand is numb, only part of your foot. So there's three types of nerves, three main types of nerves, and the symptoms depend on what nerves are affected. So the three nerves are sensory nerves that feel sensation, motor nerves that make movement, and the autonomic nerves which run to organs and glands. Sensation changes from peripheral neuropathy are damage to the sensory nerves that results in changes in sensation, the burning sensation, the numbness, the, the tingling, the pins and needles sensation, uh, the inability to determine joint position which causes the incoordination, the falling that some of you might be doing. Sensation changes begin in the feet but then progress up the leg. Some people go to their ankle, then to their knee, all the way up the leg. That could be some of you right now. Diabetes is a very common cause of sensory neuropathy because the overabundance of sugar floating around damages the nerves. Movement difficulties. Damage to the motor fibers causes the movement difficulties. You lose muscle control and it causes weakness. And it's a loss of muscle bulk. Maybe you have wasting in one of your legs or both. Loss of dexterity. Sometimes cramps are a sign. Other muscle related symptoms are the following. Difficulty breathing or swallowing. Difficulty or inability to move parts of the body. Paralysis. Falling. This is huge. Many people are falling and injuring themselves right around the house, maybe right in the bathroom when you're coming out of the tub. Lack of dexterity. How hard is it to button up your shirt again? Is it hard for you to write? Is your handwriting getting smaller? These are all signs of neuropathy, folks, and we have to do something about it. It's not going to get better on its own. How about here? The lack of muscle control. Spilling things all the time. Knocking things over. Bumping into stuff. Here's the loss of muscle tissue. This leg is actually wasting when compared to the other one. This is because of improper nerve flow to that area. Muscle twitching or cramping at night. These are the people that lay in bed and they're twitching and cramping and it's very annoying. I would like to talk now about some of the causes of neuropathy. We all know we've got some of these symptoms, but what are the causes? You can't treat a condition without finding the cause. You can't just treat a symptom. You have to find the cause of why you have the condition in the first place. Does that make sense? So causes of neuropathy. You could have hurt yourself long ago, right? How about some arthritis? Arthritis could damage a joint, the nerve going through there, could put pressure on a joint, put pressure on that nerve and cause pain. Spinal stenosis, bulging discs, statin drugs, people. How many of you are on statin drugs? We're going to talk about the study about statin drugs in a moment. Diabetes, type 1 and 2, one of the leading causes of neuropathy. A lot of my diabetic patients I see have a form of neuropathy. Poor diet, eating, eating poorly. It's just going to damage the nerves. <coughs> genetics, 80-20, we say 80% of his lifestyle, but 20% of his genetics. Chemotherapy, I have so many neuropathy patients that are chemotherapy. It's okay to do some of our treatments on patients that are doing chemotherapy. I do not treat your cancer in any way, shape, or form, but we can help with some of the neuropathy pain that you're having from the chemotherapy. Chemical exposure, many people have been exposed to chemicals, whether through factories, or line of work, whatever, uh, just their lifestyle and that can damage the nerves. So these are some of the causes. Let's talk about statin drugs. Cholesterol is made in the liver. 
Cholesterol is used to make something called CoQ10. You don't have to remember all this, but just remember the basics here. CoQ10 is necessary to make ATP. ATP is the energy for every single cell in your body. If you do not have ATP, you have no energy, the cells will then start to degenerate and die. As we age, our ability to make ATP decreases 1% per year about after we're 20. So an 80 year old has 60% less ATP than a 20 year old. So we gotta keep that going in. Older people have decreased potential to make it. Taking statin medications suppresses your ATP production even more because it's basically statin shut down the liver. So you're not making the ATP anymore to the point at which the neurons no longer have the ATP they need and they will not be able to fire and you're gonna get numbness in your nerves because you don't have the ATP you need for your nerves to work properly. So this is perceived by the brain as numbness, tingling, etc., depending on the exact muscle, muscle fiber type. So, this is a study of a peer-reviewed journal. This is not my opinion. This is peer-reviewed journal in the clinic, Clinical Journal of Neurology from May 2002. It says that statin cholesterol drugs increase the risk of peripheral neuropathy 16 times, 1,600%. If you're on statins, you increase your risk of neuropathy 1,600%. It blocks the CoQ10 pathway we talked about from the liver. You need 200 to 600 milligrams daily of CoQ10 to compensate. So you've got to do some kind of supplementation. Hopefully that will help. Statins, again, increase the risk of polyneuropathy nerve damage from 1,600% to 4,500%. This is from the study of clinical neurology. All right? This is a peer-reviewed journal. Diabetes, one of the leading causes of neuropathy. It's a chronic metabolic disorder. The body can no longer metabolize carbs, fats, proteins because of lack of the ineffective use of insulin. 60 to 70 percent of diabetics, 60 to 70 percent have some form of peripheral neuropathy. These are the people that can't feel their feet. Sometimes they get an amputation, they lose a limb, they get diabetic ulcers. This is the neuropathy of diabetes. There's three types of diabetes. Type 1 used to be known as juvenile onset. Type 2 is adult onset. We no longer can call it that anymore because there's so many kids getting type 2 diabetes. So we used to call it type 2. Gestational, these are pregnant women who get diabetes. Other forms of blood sugar disorders that can cause neuropathy. Hypoglycemia. These are people that get weak if they don't eat. They're very irritable, shaky, and they get super energy after they eat. They feel great. Then it turns into insulin resistance. How many people know these people? They fall asleep right after they eat. That's really not normally. You're supposed to feel the same beginning and after you eat. So you then get very tired, rapid heartbeat or whatever after you eat. Fatigue after meals is a very big one. Neuropathy cause here. This is the big one that's being missed. Being missed. Autoimmunity. Your own body is attacking your own nervous tissue. Your immune system is eating your nerves away. If we do not address why your immune system is eating your nerves, you will never get better. What if your nerves are absolutely fine, but it's your immune system, your own immune system causing the problem? The autoimmune connection. Peripheral neuropathy is often a result of autoimmune disease. You're attacking your own nervous tissue. This is the hidden cause of most neuropathy and autoimmune disease. How we figure this out is through the proper testing, folks. We have to do the proper testing. We do things black and white in our offices. We don't assume anything about you, about your care. So we have to do the proper testing. See if you have antibodies to your own nervous tissue. 